Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this session, we will discuss about one more topic in compiler design. So that is a basic language processing system. So in the previous session we have discussed about the introduction to compiler. So in that we have seen that compiler, what exactly the compiler will do. So the compiler will take the high level language uh, as an input to, and it will give the low level language as an output. So how this process will be done is called this language processing system. So first the input will be the source code that means the instructions written in the high level language. So this is the source code, we should call it as a source code and this will be given to the preprocessor preprocessor so in any language there will be some instructions that can be executed prior before uh, the code is given to the compiler so for example in c language consider c language so in c language there are instructions like uh, macros or uh, defining a constants defining constants so like this these instructions must be executed before giving the code to the compiler so these processes will be executed by the preprocessor and after that we will get the preprocessor code preprocessed code so it is not mandatory that every code will be having these macros and defining a constants but if uh, the, our instructions are having these macros or defining a constants. So those uh, instructions will be executed by in the preprocessor stage and we will get the preprocessor code and that will be given to the compiler. Now it will be given to the compiler. So the compiler will execute this preprocessor code and it will generate the assembly code. It will execute the assembly code. Assembly code. Okay, so this assembly code will be given to the assembler. Assembler. So, assembler is also a language translator. So, it will translate the assembly language to the low level language, machine level language. So, this assembler will consider this assembly code and it will convert it into the machine level code. So, that means the output from the assembler will be the object code. So, object code itself is a machine code. So, which can be understood by the computer only. Right? And this object code will be given to a linker. linker so linker is a process which will link all the dll files as well as some uh, these object codes and to form the executable code so uh, here it will link all object codes that means if there are any uh, multiple codes it will link all those codes or libraries so, if you are including any libraries in our program, so all those libraries will be linking and DLL files. So, it will link all these things to form executable code. So, the output from the linker will be the executable code, right? So, executable Code. And this executable code will be given to the loader. This executable code will be given to the loader. And this loader will load the exe code, executable code to memory. So every instructions will be executed by the processor itself, right? So this executable code 
will be loaded into the memory and it will wait for the processor to get executed. So this is the process of converting the high level to executable code, uh, I mean execution of a program. Right? So first of the source code, source code is nothing but the instructions written by the user in a high level language and first the stage is a pre-processed stage where the pre-processed instructions or pre-processed directives will be executed and from that it will be given to the compiler which will convert the, into an assembly code. So this assembly code will be again given to the language translator called assembler which will convert this assembly language to machine code, machine code or object code and this will be given to the linker here all linking will be done so if there are any multiple object files and dll files or or uh, libraries so all these files will be get linked to form an executable code dot exe right so here it is called dot exe so this dot exe file that means an executable code will be loaded into the memory to get executed and this process will be done by the loader Right. So, hope you understood this one. If you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.